Well, Dr. Yota Mitro is Director of Research Funding at the World Cancer Research Fund, and she joins us here to discuss this a little bit further. So obviously opinions are divided from that mm -hmm. piece we saw. What do you make of this advice? These guidelines are interesting, um, and, and they come in response to a survey by the Food Standards Agency uh, on how uh, many of these food items are consumed uh, by the, the UK population. Uh, so they come uh, as part of their concern of uh, the high consumption of so many uh, food items, common food items that uh, they may contain um, acrylamide. What we know from our own research is that uh, there is no uh, proven direct strong evidence on uh, the link between acrylamide uh, and cancer. And therefore we would welcome more research in the area and uh, specifically on this topic on um, acrylamide, the link of acrylamide and cancer, the level uh, that we'll expose, we are exposed and also the duration of how many years you should be exposed um, before you have a, an increased risk of uh, cancer and also which types of cancer as well. Because we're constantly given advice on the kinds of foods we should and shouldn't be eating. I mean, should the focus be more, I suppose, on lifestyle and, and the kind of foods we consume in general? So um, we have very strong evidence based on uh, the global analysis uh, that we are doing on the links of diet, nutrition, physical activity and cancer. And what we know for cancer prevention is by having a, a balanced diet, a healthy weight, uh, avoiding uh, alcohol and, and be physically active, uh, you reduce your risk of cancer um, overall and also specific cancer types as well. So for cancer prevention, we have very strong risk factors. Uh, you said this was um, primarily based on a survey here in the UK, but what about globally? Are we seeing people consume a lot of this um, in other parts of the world? Well, acrylamide is consumed when uh, um, you, you, you have starchy foods uh, and there are many different starchy foods that they are commonly consumed and it's the processing how you, you prepare, how you cook them. If you cook them for a very long time at high temperature, so these starchy foods um, contain, uh, they, they increase their acrylamide level. So uh, it, it, it's a matter really of um, understanding a bit more about these links and uh, th there are so many other risk factors that we know that we can do something about that we should be focusing on as well, such as obesity, maintaining a healthy weight really, um, being physically active, having a balanced diet. By having a balanced diet then you avoid this high uh, caloric uh, food. Uh, as well that they may have um, uh, acrylamide. Well, as you say, uh, Dr. Mitro, uh, I suppose it's focusing on a lifestyle change rather than a specific kind exactly. of Exactly, and there are many unanswered questions, really. Indeed. Thank you very much for joining us uh, here on the programme.